Maurice, 12 year old Zane, is one of the volunteers handing out candles as hundreds of people are expected to gather here on the banks of the Mohawk River and they will light the candles in the face of very dark grief. Four local sisters, their spouses, and about 10 of their friends out celebrating a landmark birthday. None made it home. At St. Stanislaus Church in Amsterdam, the King family hopes to hold one funeral for its four daughters and three sons-in-law. A family member told me, we couldn't handle more than one funeral. A family friend says the deadly limo crash is testing her faith. She was close to Mary King Dyson and husband Rob. How can God take away so many people at the same time um, and leave kids without parents? But so I guess it, I definitely found it hard to find the words to pray. So I just prayed for healing for their families and for the kids. It's unbelievable. Just I can it's totally devastating. Wendy Roback operates Perth Fitness Center, where five of the victims worked out, including Matt Coons, his girlfriend Savannah Bersace, and Rich Steenberg. His brother Axel was married to Amy King Steenberg and had put together the outing to celebrate her 30th birthday. Everyone is heartbroken. It's a tragedy for every single one of them taken way, way too young. This couple also died in the limo. Patrick Cushing, who worked for the New York State Senate, and his girlfriend, Amanda Halls. I've never seen her more happy, and, and, and it really hurts to know that her life was cut immaturely when she is um, she's at her, her prime, her, you know what I mean? Virtually everyone in Amsterdam knows a victim or someone who lost a close friend or loved one. Everyone is struggling to process the enormity of the loss. And I hope it inspires people to, to really take life into consideration and be grateful for every moment you have on this earth because it can be taken away in a split second. Such a terrible, terrible tragedy. 17 friends and members of the King family riding in that limo died, along with the driver, Scott Lissanikia, and two people standing near the crash site, pedestrians, who also died. One of them tonight identified as Brian Huff of Moravia, New York. That's about two hours west of here. So grief stretching across upstate New York tonight. Live in Amsterdam, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Okay.